Hey, g'day guys, it's Calvin from the Cartoon Company. This is part of the series on setting up your aftermarket ECU. I'm using the Link ECU, and I'm trying to break it right down to keeping it real basic and simple. Of course I wire 1UZ engines. So the subject engine today is per normal a 1UZ. It's wired up with a Link Extreme. It's a G4, so I'm using the G4 platform software. Pretty much the same as the G4 Plus anyway, as far as this process is concerned. It's important to calibrate the TPS correctly for good idle speed control, if you're running idle speed. Another reason it's important to have your TPS is acceleration enrichment. So it's that's important that it's calibrated correctly to give you the right fueling on the acceleration and deceleration. And for all those other functions that use the, the TPS. Pretty simple, your TPS is, is a sensor with a five volt input a, a ground zero volt back to the ECU and a signal going back to the ECU. This, this one also happens to have an idle switch in it which I have wired up so we'll see, show the setting up of that as well. If you don't have an idle switch you just calibrate it call it good. If you do have an idle switch then the throttle position sensor itself has to be mechanically set up correctly. In this case I know it is, it's my test engine, I use it for calibration all the time, and it runs with standard management. It's a pretty multi-purpose throttle body. It has gone through the process of having a tidy up as per my throttle body video. So we connect into the ECU. So I open the software to begin with, and as I said, I'm using the G4 platform software this time. I go up to ECU controls and I connect the ECU. Should bring up a little green light over this side here, which it has. And we go down to analog inputs and we ensure that the, the throttle position sensor, which we go into the drop down menu, is on where it is wired to. I generally use AN Volt 1. So there it is there, AN Volt 1. And in this case, I'm also going to show, set up the a digital input. This happens to be on digital input two. And I've set it up as a general purpose because on idle switch, with this setup going to earth, it does funny things. So it's easier just to set it up as a general purpose. You can see down here that it is presently active for the idle switch. And our TPS voltage is here. We can also find the TPS voltage going up to the tuning, runtime values, and analog. So you see the TPS here is giving us 0.63 of a volt. And if we go down here, it's actually showing at 2%. I'm just gonna flick into the tuning screen because it'll bring up TPS in another setup. So in the tuning screen, here's our TPS. Showing at 2%, we're over here 2%. So we're going to calibrate that, it's really real simple, uh, it will require two hands. So we go up to options here, TPS setup. My TPS on my throttle body mounted where I can get at it. It says depress the throttle to the fully open position. Fully open position. Push OK, and you can see down here it says that it's now at 100%. If we, then we release to the closed position, we push OK, and it zeroes that up. At this point, if you watch our voltage right here, I'm going to open the throttle. Goes up to pretty close to 100, there we go, 3.76 volts. Now some folks say that it should be closer to 5, Toyotas don't work like that. Very common for them only to get to that high 3s. And then we must save that. ECU controls, store to ECU. I 
I'll just flick back into the configuration. Here's our idle switch. And when we open it a little bit, the idle switch turns off. So as you can see, it's really, really easy to calibrate the throttle position sensor with the Link ECU. If you do find the voltage is going backwards, so it's going from a high to low, I would recommend reversing the 5 volt and the 0 volt on the, on the sensor itself. Not strictly necessary, but it's just good practice. There's also drive-by-wire throttle, uh, throttle position sensors and a whole lot of other ones. But that's just the real basic one. So we're going to stick with that at the moment. And it's the one that's on this engine, which makes it easier for me. Each change you make, make sure you store it. And every now and then, save a different copy of the tune so you can go back to that point. But that's really important. Calibrate that TPS. One of the very first things you should do when you're setting up your aftermarket ECU. Hope that was helpful. We'll see you in the next one. Catch you later.